the game. We have woken back up in our bed. We have to go warm, Princess. Hello, how are you doing today? And we have actually entered the second part at this point. I'm going to try to cut these at 15 minutes, so I probably cut that black screen that actually just passed. So, good morning everyone, welcome to the second part of A Link Between Worlds. We are greeted right from waking up in bed with Ravio. After uh, Yuga has stolen uh, the Priestess series, I guess is what it would be. Oh, you're waking up. Good. I was starting to worry about you, buddy. The name's Ravio. Hey, you listening to me? What, the rug tastes really good or something? I'm a traveling merchant. I found you in the sanctuary. Passed out. Alone. Strange, if you ask me. S alone? What happened to the priest? It looked like you needed a pal, so I took the liberty of lugging you here to this vacant house. Seems like the perfect place for you to shake off the snores. Say what? This is your house? Looked empty-ish to me. I guess we did break all our pots earlier. That's true. Wait, so tell me, what happened to you, buddy? You don't say. Some strange man turned a girl into a painting. So you got done in trying to stop him, huh? Makes you a hero, buddy. A real, live, genuine hero. But why are you standing around talking to me, then? You gotta report this to the castle. Uh, wait a minute. To tell you the truth, I've been looking for a place to stay. It's been hard to find somewhere good, so, uh, this is awkward. Mind if I stay here for a while? Just a couple of days. I promise. No way. What? Say it's not so. But, but, aren't we buddies? You'd kick me out into that cruel, cruel world out there? Please, you don't know what it's like trying to get some shot at with all those creepy crawlies. I know it's your place, but I feel so at home here. Pretty please, with a cherry on top. Get out. What? Really? Please, let me stay. I know it's your house, so super duper, please. Of course, and if you insist. I was wondering how many times I could do I didn't do this the first time I played through, so I was kind of wondering how many attempts I'd get before the game's just like, no, he can stay. If you insist. Really? Thanks a million! Finally, no more sleeping in the wild. Tough world out there, you know. Here, take this. I can't pay rent yet, but it's something, at least. And he gives us... A bracelet. It's pretty old, but a gift's a gift. I know it looks like a hunk of junk, but it's older than old. A real treasure, I believe is what he says. What odor? You don't want it because it smells funny? That's the smell of history, buddy. Musty leather, moldy aromas, the rich fragrance of a relic. Okay, fine. I'll admit it that it smells like a wet dog. But you gotta know, that's a good smell. Besides, it's a gift, so the least you could do is wear it, buddy. Now pronto, buddy, to the castle. Hurry! I mean, he just delayed us, insisting he stays, but we can look at nice Majora's Mask right here. And then continue on. Bye now. See ya, Mr. Hero. And we are given free reign, and we have a sword now. We should be heading up to the castle, which we conveniently live right beneath. Just gonna collect a little more rupees, and we're gonna head right there, I guess. That's your reason not to. The gates are open now. Uh, we have the captain's sword. Anywhere hidden we can enter? We can just walk in this side path. After work, I'll probably head off to the mock bar. I'm a regular. I went to see the fortune teller this morning, and he said I'd have the worst day of my life today. <sighs> His fortunes usually come true. I'd better be prepared for anything. Ew, is there not a path there? I thought the doors lined up. I guess that's a pointless area, and you have to exit out of it. Interesting. If I had a map for there, it would be easier to tell. But let's head in. The doors are shut tight. Can I, can I come in? 
Whoa, hold your horses there. Not just anyone gets into them. I was just in the palace a second ago. You say the captain was turned into what now? A painting? And Ceres was too. And Princess Zelda needs to know right away, huh? <laughs> Look, I get you want to see the princess, but that's a real whopper of a story there. My word, what in Hyrule is all the shouting about? I'm sorry, Lady Impa, but this lad here has a message for Princess Zelda, and it's as far as far-fetched gets. Is that so? What is this message? We don't get to choose if we skip her dialogue. Indeed, Ceres was transformed into a painting, but that's, well, frankly, it's beyond belief. Then again, strange paintings are popping up all over the castle. There may be something to all this. Hmm, yes, I wonder. Quickly, come with me. You've got to tell Princess Zelda what you saw at the sanctuary. You're taking this boy at his word, Lady Impa? I literally have the captain's sword right now. I guess it's his new sword, so you don't realize it. But the only way I could have this is if the captain doesn't. Or I guess he forgot it at the shop. But still. Anyways, we can continue forward and go see Impa at this point. Who has walked their way a little further. And we have a bunch of paintings. Wait here while I announce you to the princess. Feel free to take a close look at our gallery here. As much as I'd love to not have to read a bunch of uh, story for this game, we find that the paintings here tell us paintings here are spectacular, but they also tell the our official no sorry, they tell our legendary past of the seven sages. Sorry, I read his name midway through there. Look at the diamond symbols on the floor, and they'll tell the order of events. The descendants of the Seven Sages live amongst us today. It's no secret that Lady Impa is one of them. Alright. Painting 1. The Golden Triforce. This gift this gift from the gods, Hyrule's greatest treasure, will grant the wish to any of any mortal who touches it. The Triforce once stoked greed in the hearts of men. A legendary war was fought to keep it out of evil's hands. Painting 2. The Sealed Triforce. To end the war for the Triforce, the royal family decided to hide it in the sacred realm. They summoned the seven sages of legend who used their powers to seal the Triforce away. Number three. Painting three, the Demon King. The Demon King Ganon was once just a thief until the man broke into the sacred realm. There he stole the Triforce and transformed himself. Then he took his evil campaign back to Hyrule. I guess that happened in uh, Ocarina of Time. Weird timeline and things. Painting 4. The Hero Awakens. The hero of legend arose from humble beginnings, awoke to his purpose by a princess of Hyrule. With the master sword, the blade of evil Bane, he sought the descendants of the Seven Sages. Together they defeated the demon King Ganon and sealed him away in darkness. And finally, Painting 5, the Triforce split apart. The Triforce was split into three pieces, separated forever. One piece remains with the royal family. Another piece has fallen into the hands of Ganon, sealed away with him. And the third piece of the Triforce has vanished, though legend says it's hidden in the spirit of a true hero. It slumbers now somewhere in Hyrule, waiting for the time when the world needs a hero. And after reading those five paintings, Impa goes, Princess Zelda is ready to see you right th uh, now, right this way, please. So we have to go up and see Princess Zelda now. And after that, we will probably call the episode. Can't go to any of these side paths. They were smart this time. Blocked it. But we have entered our cutscene. And hello, Princess Zelda. I bid you fondest welcome to Hyrule Castle, stranger. I hear you have something to... Wait, it's you? Forgive me, but might I ask your name? And because we didn't nickname ourselves anything fun at the beginning of this, it's Link. Ah, while well, your name is unfamiliar to me, Link. I've seen your face in my dreams of late. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, for I dreamt of a hero locked in battle with a terrible evil. Less interesting. 
What? You've had the same dream, Link? Surely fate has sent you here. Please then, tell me what you saw at the sanctuary. And no fade to black? I thought it would fade to black. Ceres has been transformed into a painting. The captain as well. I sense a terrible darkness behind these events. Oh, Impa, I fear that evil is awakening once more in our fair land. Fret not, princess. I'd advise we caught consult Sahasrala for help. The Elder's knowledge of the past, well, it's more than vast. Oh, it rhymed. Yes, of course. That's just where to start. So, Link, would you please find Sahasrala? The Elder should be at home in Kakariko Village. I'm certain he'll be able to help. Now, there's just one more thing. I would like to send you off with my most treasured possession. It's rather special charm. Are you sure about this, princess? The Pro family has kept that safe for untold generations. Quite sure, Lady Impa. This has been my safekeeping since the day I was born. Now, I will entrust it to you. Please take good care of this charm. You will have need of it soon, Link. And we get... A special charm from Princess Zelda. Please tell Sahasrala everything you saw. That was nice of her, give us a special charm. Let's work our way out of the castle towards, I guess, our house where the nearest weather vane is. You can just jump off that cliff there, get you down a little quicker. Because I don't think there's any weather vanes on Hyrule Castle. So, we're just going to head out. And we're almost back to our house. It's a good thing we do live just one screen away. This will be where we call it for the day. So thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys have a great day. Saving. Please do not turn off the power. Saving complete.